We're going to talk about one-shot reloads in a rifle. Now this is something you're going to run across quite a bit in a match, and it can make or break you. So we need to learn how to do a one-shot reload. There are three different ways on a 73 that I know of that I think is an effective way to reload a uh, 73. The one I just did over the top is probably your, uh, it's the quickest way to reload, but it also has more hazards and you might mess it up. So let me go through the three different ways of reloading a 73. The first one I'm going to show you is over, coming over the top of the rifle and into the side gate. Now this is a pretty effective way to reload. What you do is you come in and you break the shot and you leave your hand in and you simply, what we call chicken wing it, bring your elbow up and what that does is turn the, turn the port to where you can see it right here. You reach down with your left hand, grab around, go in, roll it back over, cock, and fire. Uh, another way to do it, and that's real effective, you just got to roll your arm back down. Another way to do it is come in with your right hand into the gate. So it's the same thing, you fire the shot, then you roll it just so you can see the port. If you keep it up here, you're going to be stabbing for it because you can't see it. So simply roll it over, reach down, grab around, come up, load it in, hand back in the lever, and fire. Those are two effective ways uh, to reload, and they're very safe ways to reload. They're not as fast as what over the top load is. If you need that extra three quarter second or a second, over the top is the way to go. So the way I do it all the time. But to do it, what I'll do is I'll break the shot, then I come out, I'll open the lever, I come down with my right hand and grab the round. And it's important that you want your finger, that you grab that round, you have your finger flat on that round. It's gotta come up and flat, push it down, then I come back up underneath the lever. There's no need of going back in to the lever. I can just simply come up and grab it and fire. Then I can grip the lever and open it and out. The risk of loading over the top is if you don't get that bullet in flat. If you come in and you just fire the round, come down and reach, and you go up and you go to stab at it, that round can be stuck like that, or you can even get it turned up this way. So it's very important if you're going to shoot this this way, you got to bring that bullet in up and flat and push it in flat. That's the only way it'll work. And you can it works very effectively if you'll go in flat. And it works well on a 357 if you're shooting 38. So 45 Colt or if I was shooting 357, it's a little harder because of the length of the round. I shoot 38 and it's a 357 gun, so the round is sets back in here, so I have plenty of room to work it. Uh, in a 45, if you want to try to learn to shoot over the top, you may need to carry some 45 Schofields with you. It'll be easier to do. A 45 will take entirely too much of it. One of the things that you need to do that helps that load go smoothly is the corners on the inside of your carrier right here, they come to a sharp point on this side and this side. You can just take a small file and just round those points off. What that does is allow that round to go into the chamber. If you have those points, it'll have a tendency to kick it up and try to push it in this way. It's a little harder to feed. So just round these points on the carrier right here. And that's the three ways of loading a 73 with a one shot. Marlin, very simple. It's the simplest gun to load. All you, all you do is open, reach down, grab one, cock it just like you would if you're looking at a port, drop it in the side, come up underneath and fire. It's very effective. So that's the way you need to reload a rifle, and I've learned that because you're going to run into it at a match somewhere.